37 EDO on the Lumitone keyboard and this is the 4 sevenths keyboard that uh, you've seen many times before the very familiar uh, layout except in the 37 EDO um, this diatonic scale is almost almost like a it's pretty close to five equal because you know it's 35 plus two so um, these notes are one step apart actually between E and F and also between B and C and so you end up with a, a lot of um, unusual uh, placements for you know notes like the major third which is up there you know so it's actually two steps down one thing that's nice about this four sevenths layout is that you can go up a step at a time diagonally down like that so these these are like three layers of sharps progressively sharper and then there's three layers of flats up here so there's the flats and the uh, the flats and the sharps um, so you notice that the, the E in this C major triad it's red which normally you would uh, with this kind of color arrangement would you would use the the orange E uh, but that actually is very sharp already and the red E is a lot closer to the, the, the fifth harmonic and like the the seventh harmonic is actually this green actually yellowish green uh, I'm just gonna call these yellow to distinguish them from green because it's two different shades of green here um, and then the uh, eleventh harmonic actually is this uh, uh, F green which that's one thing that's uh, that's uh, familiar from some of my other uh, keyboard layouts. So you know you you get uh, uh, and actually the ninth harmonic is this is a better uh, ninth harmonic than this actual D here. So if you do that, that's a little little bit uh, sharper. But that's closer to the actual ninth harmonic. So you get you know eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and then for, uh, uh, for th uh, 13, you get this purple note, and then 14, 15, oops, and 16. I confused the B and the C there. Um, but this is not the most convenient layout. It's just nice to uh, illustrate kind of the structure of this uh, 37 EDO. Um, this is uh, maybe a little bit more convenient. This is a uh, porcupine keyboard and it's a 1 7th porcupine keyboard so the generator is one step of this. And so the octave is 7 and the generator is just one step of that. And uh, so um, it's pretty convenient. You know, you've got this this uh, uh, red note here, which is the E. So you can do major triads like that, and actually uh, the the uh, the minor triad. Is. So you know, you can see that the minor triad, minor. Uh, e is a little bit to the right of the the major, but you can uh, also use a, a one eighth keyboard, which is stretch out a little bit more that way. Uh, if you would prefer to have them in more of a uh, left to right order, but either one of these will work fine. And uh, so 
This Porcupine keyboard layout you can also use for 15 EDO, 22 EDO, and so on. Um, and here's another uh, very useful uh, keyboard layout. Um, this one has uh, what looks like the, uh, uh, the diatonic scale in these kind of uh, staggered rows like this. And the generator of this temperament is actually uh, like a neutral third. So this is a two-sevenths keyboard layout. You might have seen something like this before because this uh, 24 EDO isomorphic uh, keyboard uh, that comes uh, as one of the, the preset built-in uh, keyboards on the, on the Lumitone is also a 2 7th keyboard. So if you're familiar with that, a lot of that, a lot of the same sorts of uh, um, patterns will carry over to this arrangement. Obviously, you've got more space between uh, these uh, octaves because the 37 is a little, a few, a little bit more notes than uh, 22. Um, but you might try that if you're familiar with the 24 ET layout. Um, and uh, there's a couple others. Uh, that I've tried out. This one is, is kind of an unusual uh, keyboard uh, layout. It is actually a, I believe, a 5 6 keyboard. Yeah. So that's one that uh, you don't see too much where it, it goes up diagonally like this, you know. So if it was a 1 6 keyboard, it would be. The octave there, but this um, this would be a five-six keyboard, um, and um, that's all. And it's a very compact layout. And then you you, know, you see um, there's the uh, the major third there. Um, then the, what is this other one? This one, this is a, a, a pretty nice one too. Uh, this is actually uh, um, got it got the uh, the generator of this one is half of the the major third, so it's actually this. Uh, it's like a whole tone skip. And this uh, temperament is called Hemi Wurschmidt because it, it's actually, it, it is, um, based on this, uh, Wurschmidt comma, uh, but dividing the, this generator in half, uh, makes it a Hemi Wurschmidt. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, uh, it's, it's pretty, uh, convenient for, uh, like, uh, major thirds, um, you know, then yeah, this is almost the diatonic scale, but so, so, you can, you can see that the, the fifths are a little bit out of the way, uh, maybe you use a lot of thirds, Yeah, it could be convenient for that. Um, so there's a few options for, for 37 EDO. I'll probably spend most of my time playing with the Porcupine keyboard because um, that's a sort of a more familiar uh, layout. I've used the Porcupine layouts for the 15 and 22 and uh, yeah, so it's a natural extension of that, but the Beatles one looks looks uh, pretty promising, and you know, all sorts of things you can do with with uh, with this. If I just need a little practice with it, because I'm a little bit less familiar with it, but uh, there you go. There's some um, options for 37 EDO.